Steve. Alan. What's doing? Just sitting back thinking about refrigerant gases. That's a little bit weird, Steve, is it? What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Uh -huh. You know I can see your thought bubble, right? I did not know that. <clears throat> so, Steve, please tell me all about refrigerant gases. Did you know that when you're servicing or uninstalling a cooling unit, you can't just release the gas into the air? Because environment? Yes. <sighs> Don't start. Fine. But I thought you might like to know what happens to the gas after you've recovered it. Something boring? I presume? It's actually not boring at all, Alan. Uh, I've got this one, deep voice over guy. Thank you. But Alan wants to hear it. But, but. In a more but, manly but, voice. What? <coughs> what? Thanks, Steve. As you know, when you recover gas from a cooling unit for storage in a cylinder, if you can't reuse it or don't know what type of gas it is, you can take it to a refrigerant gas wholesaler. His voice isn't that deep. Then the gas is sent to Refrigerant Reclaim Australia for identification and treatment. RRA is a not-for-profit organisation that is owned by industry and works with industry to help recover, reclaim and destroy surplus and unwanted refrigerants. We aim to improve the industry's environmental performance by reducing the amount of emissions caused by refrigerants through our Take Back program, where we pay fridges for unwanted gas and process it appropriately. We've been around since 1993, and in that time, we've stopped millions of tonnes of ozone-depleting gas and greenhouse gases from entering the atmosphere. Some of the reclaimed gas sent to RRA can be reused if it's the right standard. The rest has to be destroyed. Well, but half the time, I don't even know what type of gas I'm extracting. Jennifer? Who's Jennifer? We receive all sorts of gases at RRA. First, we work out what gas it is. Some may be purified for reuse. If it's unable to be reused, then we destroy it. Huh, that sounds super cool. I can see why you're always thinking about refrigerant gases. Yeah. The machine used to break down the gases gets hotter than the sun. Oh, that's hot. Yes, it is. Like, really hot. Yes, it is. Yeah, but like, Really, 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 really. This is our plasmon process. Basically, we use pyrolysis, and that's the degradation by heat to break down all the CFCs compounds to its simple molecule form. So here's the torch section where the plasma arc is actually being formed. Underneath it is the injection manifold with all the CFCs gases gets injected right under the plasma arc. The Plasma arc temperature has been measured to be at 10,000 degrees Celsius, which is actually hotter than the surface of the sun. Really, 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 really. And the destruction temperature is about 1,500 degrees Celsius. RRA take back and destroy all types of ozone depleting and synthetic greenhouse gas refrigerants. Here we have our reaction chamber with all the broken compounds actually being fed directly downwards. And from there, all the acidic gases that's being formed gets quenched by alkaline solution. At the end of the day, we're only left with salty effluent that we actually discharge into the sewer. Really, 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 really hot. So, Alan, as you can see, recovering refrigerant gases isn't just good for the environment. It doesn't just save you money. It's also dead simple, as RRA will work out what it is and deal with it for you. And the good news is, most people are already doing the right thing. So all we have to do is keep it up and encourage others to do the same. And we're laughing. Alan. Alan? Alan. Alan? Alan. 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 You're weird, Alan. <laughs>